We have groundbreaking, earth-shattering Disney Park news. This little juicy nugget has flown through the cracks of many Disney YouTubers out there. They completely missed this incredible update. They were all busy talking about the Tiana slide ride and the Imagineering Shaka and oh, what's that? Disneyland's getting a bunch of new uh, things built into it. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, oh, so much food at the Epcot Festival. Way too much food. All the food. The news about the food. Stinky rides? Someone fell down a well at Disneyland? Oh, I gotta stay focused. I gotta circle back to that one. Bro, the spring break crowd. So many Disney vloggers are mad about that one. Uh-oh, looks like Kyle Palo is live streaming from a cruise and lots of food in paging Mr. Morrow's thumbnails. So much food. He puts a lot of food in his thumbnails. Bless his, bless his little heart. No, but all that out of here. We don't need, to, don't worry about that. This is the breaking news. Patrick Warburton. Yeah, that's right. Putty from Seinfeld. Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove and other things. And most importantly, flight captain guy in the Soarin' pre-show made a live appearance at the ride in Disneyland. Uh, real quick before we continue, I just want to point out my little new uh, microphone that I got here. I stole this uh, contraption from another YouTuber out there. His name, his name is Wayne Records. I got a little mic. Little bendy mic. Hello. Hey. Uh, attached into the bigger mic. Look at that. Getting back to Putty. He made a surprise appearance in the introduction of Soarin' Over California in Disneyland. Disneyland's California Adventure. I gotta, that's, that's the proper park that it's at. Don't want anybody uh, saying I don't know about the Disney stuff. I know enough. So, a bunch of, we'll say unassuming guests. Uh, I'm pretty sure they signed waivers and uh, NDAs. Uh, and video releases saying, yes, I will appear in this uh, little video that you are making about the ride. What, there's a lot of cameras here. <laughs> They're all following us. Something must be happening. Your chief flight attendant. Hello. Some of these people, yes, a lot of them were legitimately surprised. There's one guy in here. He's got no clue who this is. He's like, uh, I don't know. He's clearly not a Seinfeld fan, all right? He's more of a home improvement fan or some other show. And so what if it was like this guy's first time riding Soren? So now he's going forward thinking, is there gonna be a live person like this every time? Is there gonna be, is he here like all the time? Like, who is he? I just see this older dude with like a mustache. He kind of looks like Walt Disney. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the thumbnail for this, I was like, who, who is this? It looked like a wax figure of Walt Disney in the Soren ride. I'm like, I guess Walt is back from heaven. Or hell. We can't confirm where he is. But all kidding aside, Patrick, he's looking good. He's looking good with the gray, with that mustache, a refined classic look. So he starts letting people on the ride and I noticed something about the very first guest. She also happens to be wearing an Emperor's New Groove t-shirt, her and her uh, person behind her, okay? Seems a bit suspicious to me. I feel like this whole thing is a bit of a plant. I imagine the marketing team, as they're like picking out people to do this whole experience before they sign the NDAs, they uh, you know saw some people with cameras and like live streamers, like, no, <laughs> get those people out of here. Make sure they're, they're not a part of this. They would have ruined this thing immediately. Having some goofball vlogger walk on in on this ride and be like, oh, look what I found. I'll post a vlog about it. Yeah, so he starts letting the guests on in the ride right off the bat. He says to the first woman. Oh, nice work, pal. <laughs> Patrick. Putty. I've ridden this ride so many times. You don't say nice work, pal, to the person with the ears. You make sure that those ears are stowed properly in the thing underneath your seat, okay? You say nice work pal to a little kid who's buckling in his safety belt and he's got to loop it through the safety thing, okay? He beefed that one. He messed up. Yeah, that's right. I'm a little upset at the guests here that there weren't enough people slapping fives with, with Putty. I'm not into like celebrity autographs and all that stuff, but I am into slapping fives with the celebs. I would have slapped some fives and been like, time to fly. 
putty. Okay, so then the people are on the ride, they're fist bumping, like, yeah, I'm excited. And then they cut to uh, Putty, and he's over on the side here. He's he's reading his safety things. The uh, safety belt for safety. The safety belt chosen especially to make guests Keep saying safety belt. The guest safety belt. People awkwardly laugh. And I'm at this point, I'm like, there's going to be a good joke here. He's buttering him up. Uh, nope, that's it. That's the end. He's... He's done, people clap, and then they, I guess they ride the ride, or... Thanks, we're soaring over California with this. My questions, now I have several after this. Okay, several important questions. Will Patrick be on this ride going forward? Will he be doing this all the time? Does he live in the ride now? Could they have written him some better material? That's a yes. That, I mean, I could have written them, him some better material. I just felt like he kind of came in and did his thing and then uh, straightened his tie and was out of here. Will he be at Walt Disney World uh, in Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow? Will he be introducing the Soren in there? They're not gonna give it, I know this already, they're not gonna give Disney World any of the good stuff. Disney World's trashy. We all know this. What other celebrities are we gonna see introducing rides like this? You know, could they uh, keep Ken Marino in the little glass room in the queue at the rock and roller coaster. Could he just live there, you know? And then I just come in and say, hey Ken, what's going on, man? Could you imagine if they had Eric Idle do the figment ride? <laughs> that would be his new personal hell. Like he, they couldn't even put him anywhere on the ride because it's like all screens. He's got to work the ride loading in and out. Like he's just helping guests in and out of the ride. He's just like so miserable. He's like, ugh. It's a living. It's like one of the poor Flintstone animals that have to work the garbage disposal or, you know, the toilet roll <laughs> in Fred Flintstone's bathroom. Eric Idle, uh, it's a living. He's just like, I don't know why I'm doing this anymore, but I have to. You know, with Steven Spielberg, he rode the Jurassic Park uh, water ride, the, the slide ride, apparently before they got to the very top of the, before the drop, he asked them to stop the ride so he could get out because he ain't taking no risks. Amazing. He's like, nope, not for me, not doing it. Will he be at a Disney ride? Has he done stuff for Disney? No, he wouldn't. He does stuff for Universal. My God, if he was at the ET ride, if he like, if there is even just a whiff of him possibly appearing at the E.T. ride, I would be down there within a second. I'd be like, I gotta get there. I gotta see my man, Stevie Spielberg. I gotta have him talk about E.T. with me, okay? Please, please, Universal, start copying Disney like that. Get Steven Spielberg for the ride introduction. I want this so bad, please. All right, we gotta circle back to that well thing. I'm really, uh, so I guess fell down a well? Just fell down Disneyland well. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, she's in it. Oh no. Oh, her feet are sticking out too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't need to laugh. But that is a, that's a great, that's a great little visual right there. Uh, she took the whole week off. You just fell in one well. You don't, you don't need to take a whole week off from work from that one. So what did we learn at the end of the day? Uh, I have another uh, serious question. If you guys could fly, like, like a magic, like you had the magic ability to like fly, like, um, like Rogue from X-Men, you could just like up and fly away. You didn't have like wings or anything. You could just like levitate in the air and just go real fast. Would you, would you like, fly to like long distances like how f like i if you have to f if you fly if you had to fly like that you'd have to go kind of fast you're going upwards of 50 60 miles per hour that's pretty fast okay you ever stick your head out the window when you're going that fast while you're driving it's like just wind all the time so then like if you do that you got to wear some type of eye protection at the at the minimum i would think it'd be more appropriate to wear like maybe like a motorcycle helmet because i mean if you hit a bird or god forbid a goose 
You ever seen that picture of Fabio? When a, when he accidentally, uh, he was on a roller coaster and, he, and like a bird flew into his face? Like, that's fast. Or you're just, you're getting a lot of bugs in the mouth. Uh, potentially bats at night. What if you could fly at like the speed of which you could run? But not very fast. The, like, what's the point then? What, like, I guess it'd be kind of fun to like, you know, float around and fly around. Like, get, like, I wouldn't use that as a mode of transportation though. I would just use that as like a regular kind of walk run type of situation when I want to walk around a park I go fly around like a park for a little bit if you could have any superpower what would it be I know there's a lot of perverts out there that want like invisibility or like mind reading things I feel like that's a pervert type of uh, special power or superpower I would do the ability to grow and shrink in size like Ant-Man so I get real big Okay, I get real big and this is a, a way around flying. I could just get real big and just walk places and like step on things. I'd be careful. I'd like Oh man, if you're real big and you stepped on a tree, whew, boy, that would hurt. And uh, maybe I would just do flying then. I don't want to like phase through the the walls like uh, Kitty Pride. That's scary. I don't know what. I don't know what's in between the walls. I don't need to see that. Whew. Could you imagine? What's in between your walls at your house? Boy, this took a turn, didn't it? We're talking about uh, Putty from Seinfeld, and now we're talking about phasing through walls and flying. Uh, so let me know in the, the comments below what superpower you would want if you could have a superpower. Um, and what celebrity you want in a ride. I want Eric Idle working the queue at the Figment ride. And I just want everyone to be like, are you, do, are you somebody? People are like, you look really familiar. He's like, I get that a lot. And he's just this miserable old British guy working a ride in Florida. Ugh. That's what I want. Just for my own amusement. Sorry. Sorry, Eric. You're working the figment ride.